guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. And I hope everybody today has a happy Halloween. Wherever you are, what country you're in, have a happy Halloween. Right guys, so I told you I went to my mum, my mum's yesterday to get away from Sometimes things seem too much when you're on your own and you just want a break from it and I went up to my mum to have a break from all the stress. Um, stress that's probably brought on a lot by myself worrying about unnecessary things but to me they're important. You know gas, electric to me is important. Um, being isolated does get quite upsetting at times and even if it's my mum I've got someone to talk to um, right what was I going to say we all have problems don't we we all have problems and sometimes there's no one to help us and it's all very well someone privileged dressed in beautiful clothes looking really pretty telling us and giving us advice when they have no idea what it is like to be poor, what it is like to be addicted to drugs, what it is like to be an alcoholic. And because they haven't experienced it first hand or from a parent or a relative. So they'll sit there and they'll preach in their pretty clothes and their lovely coiffured hair and they will tell us that they want to help, but they, they don't know what it is like to be homeless. They don't know what it's like to be poor. They don't know what it's like to be hungry and putting your hand down the back of a sofa, trying to reach for and see if you can find some money to feed your kids. They don't know what it's like. having hardly anything to wear, getting your electricity cut off, being starving hungry, walking the streets crying and there's nobody there to help you. When I myself was in a woman's refuge, I used to wander the streets, right? I had no friends in this women's refuge. These women did not want to know me. I was bullied by staff. I was threatened if I didn't do as I was told, I'd get thrown out of a woman's refuge pregnant. Um, prior to that, when I was homeless, uh, walking around looking for cheap clothes in charity shops, and um, it's horrible living like that. I'm lucky now. I've got a, I, I, I fought and I fought and I fought to get this flat. With help, I got it, right? With help, because I kept going on, I kept bidding on properties till I got out of the flat I was in that had a mice problem. Medway Towns is a deprived area. There are a lot of drug addicts, there are a lot of drunks, there are a lot of people with no jobs. Right? Um, these new build flats, a lot of people have come from London to live in these flats. These flats are expensive to buy. I, this flat I'm in is rented from Hyde Housing. But a, a lot of people are coming down from other places to buy these flats. When there are still homeless in Chatham, Medway and Rochester Medway and Gillingham. There's homeless people still. We are not solving problems, we're adding to them. The more people that come into this area, the more crowded it's going to get, the more problems we're going to have. And don't forget, you know, we're overpopulated, so they're cutting down the green grass. They're, cu they're, they're covering the green grass with buildings. They're cutting the trees. We're losing all our oxygen, we're getting more cars, and we're breathing in fumes, right? So, yes, they're trying to...
to make the Midway Towns look prettier. When they're covering up the alcohol and the drug problem.
to watch somebody that's raw that is, can tell you what it's like first time then listen to me but if you want to listen to you know I don't know pantomime you know where they all dress up sit in front of the camera and pretend everything's okay and carry on and you want a grand performance watch somebody else because I'm real I'm raw I've been through things and I understand the poor person because I grew up poor I'm still poor now this is not a bought flat, it's rented, while other people have bought these flats outright, lucky them. <laughs> and my mum yesterday said, Janestra, because she calls me Janestra, and I'm really crystal. She said, have you got, do you, do you keep your, like, money in a jar? And... You know, I've had it, it years ago. I used to keep pennies in a jar, 5p's, 20p's. I can't afford to now. But this is what my mum gave me yesterday. My mum gave me an empty jar. An empty jar. I have got no savings account. I've got no savings account. I used to, but then that West shut all my accounts down in that West Bank during coronavirus. Do you know how hard it was to get another bank when all everywhere was shut down and there was COVID? And I was wandering the streets, panicking. I wasn't going to have a bank account in 2020. My mum gave me this jar, right, and she said, there you are, £10 note, still with the Queen's head on at the moment, but it's going to be changed to King Charles III. She gave me this. This is my savings account. It's empty at the moment, but I'm going to start putting at least £10 in it a month if I can. Oh, and my mum's just ringing me now, Jennifer is. My mum's just ringing me as I'm putting this £10 in the jar. So there you are. The NatWest closed my, my savings account down. I'm saving by myself. The bank that I had saved for for 35 years. Right up in Gloucestershire to when I was down here. Shut my bank accounts down during Covid. I've done nothing wrong. They shut it for no reason. None, they won't even apologise or explain to me why they did it. Right? I'm not a criminal. And they shut my bank account down for no reason. If they can do it to me, they can do it to you. You know? And I lost everything. I lost all my bank accounts. Right? Where are the people that do do wrong things and they are criminals and they get away with it? They treated me like a villain, shut my bank accounts down and made me panic for months trying to find a new bank. I am tired of being treated like a criminal. When I am a person that cares about other people and I'm tired of being a scapegoat. People blaming me for what they've done. It's happening no more. See you later.